got to be the big one. What do you mean, Tim? Potential sponsors might be watching the show this time. Even Wilson might turn on his TV to fix this idiot. No one watches our show anyway. We're going to have to go back to basics. Now you're thinking. We'll just pound some hammers into some nails. I got some other tools, too. No, you always screw up the show with the other tools. You make a joke out of it. Dad, I did a bad thing today. I hope Randy didn't go over the, go over the edge and make a tool program worse than our tool program. Al? Get your dumbass out of here. Come in, Randy. Son, I have an important lesson for you. Whatever you did, it doesn't matter. Your dad is going to be rich someday, and I promise that I'll send you to the college of your choosing. I overheard you and Mom talking about paying the bills again last night, Dad. You know that's not polite, Randy. What, do you listen in to on to our private time, too? No, but Brad does, and he's disgusting about it. Uh, all I'm worried about is us getting the bills paid and that we don't lose our house again. You don't got to worry about that. We'll get the bills paid. Your wife is just a feisty bird. You don't have to lie to me, Dad. I don't really give a crap if I don't get to go to the college of my dreams. So what did you do bad today, Randy? I didn't help anyone today. You know how we go to that uh, school in the bad neighborhood? Uh, well, I didn't lift a finger or do anything to help nobody. No homeless people, nobody. Randy, that's a pretty tough thing to swallow. But your dad's got to work on some grown-up stuff now with our dumb friend Al. All right, Dad. I guess I'll go play video games in the attic. Yeah. Give me a hug. What's for dinner, anyway? Well, you and I are going to have to... The boys are going to have to fend for ourselves because your mom's working that extra job to pay for the bills now. Oh, no. Are we going to Raunchy's Bar and Grill again? Welcome back to our tool program. Tonight, we're hoping to win back our audience. That's right. And we'll do that by not having you talk when we come back from the commercial break first. You numbskull moron. And because Tim is such a professional, he'll be the first to drive a nail into that wood. No problem, folks. I've never done this crap before. What are you trying to do to me? Maybe you've acted like a father to your kids sometimes. I'll just take this hammer here. Go ahead, Tim. They want to know how to be able to do it themselves at home. Well, Al, I assure you that our viewers will be experts when we're done with this. Kind of like your skill at taking up all the room on the bus with all the magazines that you drag around with you everywhere. At least I can read. Look, just get the nails while I read the manual. Whoops, must be in Spanish. The manual's clearly in English, Tim. Most manuals for hammers are in English. Any idiot would know that. So I've got the nails. I've got my hammer. I'm just going to put this together for the viewers. Everyone will be happy. Go ahead, Tim. I'm going to be dead before you actually do any freaking man's work. Well, hello, my lousy neighbors. We need to go to a commercial break because our regular Miles Mingus just showed up. Wilson, you've ruined another one of our shows, you idiot. Maybe if you trimmed your lawn for once, did even an ounce of man's work, and we'd be all off to better. Yeah, maybe if you actually picked up your youngest son from golf practice, didn't make him wait for six hours until your wife gets out of her dead-end job to pick him up. You guys are right. I've been a crummy father. 